Greetings, HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, with another fun thing that you can do with your touchpad to give it a uh, little special piece of pizzazz, uh, give it some customization. We are going to learn how to change the boot animation. Uh, thanks to some uh, friends on Tablet Support Forum, Dot com. We have some new animations available. Uh, there will be a link to them on the uh, in the description of this video. Be sure to go in and thank them. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this now. Uh, first step here is to plug in our HP touchpad into the USB cord. And in doing so, we want to go into USB storage mode. Now, somebody asked me uh, a while back how I changed the different uh, USB uh, modes and if you push up on your notification bar you'll see where it says USB connected by hitting that you can actually choose which way you connect so I'm going to turn on USB storage and uh, hit OK to this and now I will have access on my uh, desktop to go in and put files onto this and that's what we're going to do now alright so now that I've plugged in my touchpad uh, I have the option to open up the folders and to view the files. And in here you have all of your uh, files that you would typically have. Um, we have here on my desktop, and I'll, I'll show you here real quick, uh, a bootanimation.zip file. Now I've downloaded this uh, again from the uh, tablet support forum, and uh, there are several of them available. Uh, some really neat ones to play with, and I'm sure you can find some others elsewhere. Um, the key to this is that it is called bootanimation.zip. The file cannot be changed in any way, and it stays zipped. I repeat, you do not unzip this. You leave it called bootanimation.zip. Keep in mind also, if you download one, and it's called bootanimation.zip, and then you download another one, that chances are Windows, at least Windows 7 will, uh, add that one in parentheses after it. So make sure that the file that we're using here is specifically called bootanimation.zip. Moving on. Uh, I want to put this file into uh, somewhere where I can find it in the uh, on the touchpad somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it uh, animation. And then I'm going to move the bootanimation.zip file into that folder. And that's it. So at this point, I can remove uh, the touchpad from the USB connection, and the rest of it will do on the device itself. I'm going to unplug my USB cord now and go back to my main screen. To show you the difference, the before and after, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick reboot here. Hold in my power button and do a reboot and just a normal reboot. This will demonstrate the uh, stock bootloader or uh, boot animation. Let's see here. I know there's also a way to change this screen. Uh, I'm not going to get into that right now. Honestly, I don't see any reason really to need to change it. It only lasts eight seconds. So here's your normal boot animation. Um, I, I feel bad telling people how to change away from the Cyanogen mod uh, boot screen, uh, but honestly, the whole point of customization is that everything is customizable. So I'll leave it up to you if your conscience allows you to do this. All right, so now that we've seen what the stock boot animation looks like and we're back up in business here, let's, uh, let, let's make our, our tweaks and let's add our, our new uh, custom boot animation. Uh, I do want to uh, explain that in order to do this next step, uh, you do have to uh, use what's called Root Explorer. Uh, Root Explorer is not free. 
uh, on the market. Uh, it is, I believe, uh, two or three dollars. Uh, either way, I think it's extremely worth it. Um, you may be able to use other types of uh, file explorers, but it does have to be one that will give you root access because you are going to manipulate files in your system folders. Um, that also goes along, I guess, having a disclaimer. Uh, please don't play in here if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to choose my root explorer and uh, I want to go to my system folder. So I, I've brought, I'm basically in the main route now, and I'm going to go into my system folder. In my system folder is a media folder, and I'm going to select that. Now, there's two options up here. There's a button, mount RW or mount RO. So as it stands right now, with its, when it says mount RO, I have the ability to change these files, and that's ultimately what we're looking to achieve here. So here's a file here, and it says bootanimation.zip. Look familiar? This is our stock item. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to lose this, so I'm going to press and hold, and I'm going to do rename, and I'm just going to rename this uh, old boot animation.zip and press OK. Now it says rename successful. If I didn't have this say mount RO, it would uh, yell at me and say that the operation was unsuccessful. So make sure that you're in the right directory when you are the right mode uh, when you do this. So I'm going to go back now and I am now going to go back again and now I'm looking for SD card. Now SD card represents all of my uh, files. Uh, the files that I have placed on, this is what mounts when you put this into USB mode. And I'm going to look for animation, which is the folder that I created. And lo and behold, here is my boot animation.zip that I downloaded from Tablet Support Forum. I'm going to press and hold this file, and I'm going to do copy. And it's giving me a paste button, but it wants to know where. So I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go up again and I'm going to go back to my system folder and in system is media and there's my old boot animation .zip file and I'm going to press paste now I have a new boot animation .zip file in this folder and that's it I'm done so I'm going to come out of that and I am going to hold down my power button and I'm going to do a reboot and let's see what our new boot animation looks like. Aha! And here we have it. Here's my new boot animation. Wow, that is pretty. Okay, well, it almost makes you wish it took longer to boot this thing up, doesn't it? Uh, so here we have it. Uh, that was... Um, Relatively simple, obviously, if you ever wanted to go back or you wanted to uh, use a different one, then uh, you can go back and repeat the process. Uh, the only unfortunate piece of this is that um, I have tried to do this with different file explorers, and the only one that I was successful in using was Root Explorer. So if you have the uh, know-how or uh, are feeling adventurous to go out and find a freebie explorer to do this with, then by all means, please share it with me. Uh, leave a comment or send me a message. So here we have it, uh, custom boot animations. Always fun to tweak things a bit. Uh, hopefully you all can follow along with this and uh, be as successful with it as I was. So this has been Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, once again helping you tweak your HP touchpad.